so far we just did what you know serialization when i say serialization we converted the object into the json now we are going to do the reverse operation what i mean what i mean by reverse operation we are going to do this deserialization that means we are going to convert the json to what object so since we already have a json string with us we are going to convert this json back to what you know the customer object so after do that so i'm going to create the customer reference so now here json dot from json you have a method called from json so now since you have already string with you we just you know pass the same string then along with the string you have to specify hey this is the json string what is the exact type that you want to convert so you have to tell to the json api this is the json string you have to convert them as what you know customer object right as and when you do it i just want to print out this customer object if you print out you know probably what you know we'll get a memory location as an output you know just let, let me run this let's realize the output you can see that the object is converted but we are getting what the memory location right i want some meaningful message to be printed in the sense you can go to what the customer object i mean the customer class now here you can override the two string method to represent the the proper message when we print the object so right click generate go to the two string here you can select whatever fields you want i'm selecting all the fields give a okay now you can see we overridden the two string method so when we print this object we want some meaningful message to be printed right so let me rerun this class again here we go we got an output right so now so the first first output represent we converted the object to the json the second output represent we converted json back to the object this process we call what deserialization so this we just done it using what in the json api